All right, so it's time. I've been talking about wanting to remake the tier list and have it be uh, completely reformatted so there's a, a less weird rating. Like, for example, let's go up here on the tier list. Green Jericho being above Ludociel or Green Ascanor just because Green Jericho is good for Belmoth. That's a bit of a weird ranking, isn't it? But if someone is just watching the tier list for the first time without seeing me ranking her, they're just gonna be like, why Why is this unit there? She sucks ass. Like, <laughs> But she's good for that one sort of hard activity, so I put her up there. And I think that should change. So I listed down how I wanted it to be, and then after listing it down, I was like, oh, actually, maybe I should do something completely different. I wanted to make so... Uh, maybe I can show the camera. I wanted to make so the top of the tiers would be someone that's a god for PV and PvP, and then so on and so forth. You can you can read if you want to. It's not really actually that important to read. Um, but after million dollars, I realized I should just make it true. I should just make a PvP and a PvE tier list. But I don't want to make two different videos because I think if you just want to see the ranking for the newest unit, you just need to watch one video, and that's it. You don't have to watch two videos. That's completely unnecessary. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is, for the sake of this video not being 50 minutes long, this video, I will be completely deconstructing this tier list that I have in front of me and make it a PvP only tier list. And then, tomorrow, I don't know, I'm gonna make a completely new tier list and make that the PvE one. But when I update it, it would just be both in one video for whatever new units that come out. Because I think that's a bit of a waste of time to make a separate video. Like, okay, so Mono, let's say Mono just released, goes on S tier for PvP. Goodbye, guys. Watch the PvE one if you want to see for PvE. It's like a bit of a good, let's say, okay, <laughs> let's say a good PvE unit, right? Um, uh, uh, Br Matrona, right? Matrona just came out. Let's just be like, Okay, she's dog shit, uh, D tier, bye guys. And then tomorrow, uh, the next day, right, re-record, make the PvE one. Oh, she's actually the god, she's actually the god tier, so g goodbye guys. It's like a bit of a weird thing. So, this is how it's gonna be. Uh, let's edit, this would be the PvP tier list. And again, tomorrow, because just for the sake of not making the video 15 minutes long, I'll be doing the same for the PvE tier list. Actually, give me a second, I'm, I'm gonna add the new DN and Slater to this list as well. And also, um, I do like the naming of the tiers anyways, so I'm just gonna remove the brackets, because the brackets I put in the first place just to signify that yes, this unit has use and that's why they're on this tier, but if we're strictly talking about PvP, that Mm. Okay, just just delete all of it. I'm gonna put it like this, right? I'm gonna put the first tier. Um, just meta. I think I think the the top tier should just be the meta, right? Um, second tier could either be counter meta or sub meta. By the way, anything. You guys think would be best than what I'm thinking? Let me know. I'm not perfect. Um, this is a work in progress. I'm, I'm a work in progress. Um, I think sub meta, because um, I think sub meta already implies the counter meta. Um, competent. How how do you spell competent? <laughs> how I spelled? Let's go, baby. Uh, I am professional English speaker. Um, good. I feel like good already implies competent. Um, can be fun to use. I think I think that's a, that should be a category because there's characters that I would say aren't great, but and aren't competent either, but could be fun to use. Um, uh, garbage. <laughs> can be fun to use to garbage because really, when you're playing PvP these days. Either your unit is meta, it's good, or it's garbage. It, it, it's really difficult because if you face a meta team, Bon, and you don't have a full good team, 
you are going to lose. You have no chance. So, let's just submit. Um, nothing changed. Okay, I, I actually have to change it manually. The tiers. Um, it's just the default. I could reset, but I think that would take too long. Just give me a second and I'm gonna rename the tiers. Okay. So I think this being a strictly PvP only tier list, I will be way more harsh than I am or than I was on my regular tier list. If, if a unit isn't in one of these categories that I listed, they are going straight to garbage. Because, like, seriously, there's units that just cannot compete. So I just want to first move on these units to the, the tiers they already... I think every unit here can stay. <laughs> every unit here can stay on meta. Because, I mean, they were already at the top. Uh, but I will move up Tarmio. Actually... Okay. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. I I wanted to actually change the tier to not not be meta, be a meta maker, being like the main unit on a team. But that's maybe that's too much of a stretch. Um, I would say Kusak right now is meta. Um. Chandler's meta for sure. Zalger's meta for fourth. I will consider fourths as meta. So Twigo can go up here as well. And so can... Um, Astros can go sub meta. Um, so can Ram. Because she is actually stupid good for Guffer. Um, so can... Um, I think Merlin sub meta. I don't think that she makes for actually the best golfer team. The best golfer team would be with Amelia and Green Merlin. Um, eh, is it though? I think there's a point to be made here that Merlin is actually better than Green Merlin for the golfer team. But specifically for the golfer team? Mm. Mm. Oh man, this is actually much harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, let's think about the, the bottom tiers, okay? I think this would be easier, so, uh, Marmus with the- So, our characters, I will be considering Holy Relic. Just because I- they are much easier to get. I am still to the point where I don't know if I should consider every character as they will have the Holy Relic when you use them. I think give it a few more months and I will. But for now, I'm just considering them without Holy Relic. Except Bon. That might be a bit of fun. <laughs> that might... Be, uh, even if I don't consider Bon Holy Relic, he would still be on this tier. But I just don't see... I be, like, out of every Bon I play on PvP, 9 out of 10 have Holy Relics. So it's like, that's how I, I, I perceive Bon, is with the Holy Relic nowadays. Okay. Let's talk about the bottom tier, right? So, Elioni actually, I think, can be fun to use. So I'm not going to put him in the bottom tier. R Slater is competent on the Bon team. Uh, I'm just moving up from bottom tier, for now. Uh, I've, uh, you're garbage. <laughs> you stay here. Um, Red Astorosa can be fun to use. So can Mikasa. Mm. I don't see anyone else I would move up. So, good. Uh, you go here. You go here, you go here, you can be fun to use. You go here, you also go here, 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 here. <laughs> yeah, this would be so much easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, the bottom tier is way easier than the top tiers will be for sure. So let's start with this. You can go here, here, here. You can stay here. <laughs> wow, this video is going to be five minutes long. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, I'll keep bread. Ah, that, ah, 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 I think Daldry is unironically better for PvP than all these characters that are in garbage. Uh, you're garbage, you're garbage, you're, you, 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 mm. I wouldn't say she's 
I would say she's garbage. I think her passive is way worse than Zeldris. And if I'm if I'm gonna choose a unit over the other, I can't be like so I'm not gonna rank these yet, I'm gonna leave them for the end. Um who else can go to garbage? <laughs> you can go to garbage. You can go to garbage. You, you can go to garbage. You can go to garbage. Nah, red red demon melee is fun to use. Can be fun to use. Um Blue Demon Melee and Rugo are competent. I'll give him that. Uh, Red Liz is competent. Jim is competent. You're garbage. Again, we're talking about strictly PvP here, right? I want to keep Blue King incompetent because he can cleanse Gelfer. So I will, but nah, I can't, I can't validate that. Uh, you're garbage. Uh, you're garbage. You're garbage. <laughs> you're garbage. You're garbage. <laughs> you're garbage. No, you can be fun to use. Never mind. No, he's not great, but you're garbage. You... We're garbage. You're garbage. Uh... <laughs> uh... No, this is more fun than the phone's gonna be. Um. Okay. You're garbage. You are garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage. You're garbage. Ah, I'll keep. I'll keep her here. Okay. I will actually say, Nanash is competent, in as a fourth unit. I don't see him being as played, but I feel like it's mostly because no one has him built. Um, you can be fun to use. So can uh, daughter Blue Liz, where is she? Oh, you're garbage. Actually, mm, you could do some, a nasty ult rush with her. I'll give her that. You're garbage. I hope I don't miss anyone that's garbage. Um, <laughs> that's my favorite thing to say now. Um, you're competent. I think it can be fine. I don't, I, I'm not gonna give him competent. It's, neither am I gonna give 11. Um, you're competent as well. Oh my God. Was she already incompetent? No, I... I'll give her competent. Was she, she already was incompetent. What am I doing? Uh, you're garbage. You are fun to use, or can be fun to use. That's the name of the tier. Um, I will actually say you are sub-meta, and so is you. Because mono blue, I would not say is meta. I keep checking my phone, by the way, because I have an order coming. And I don't wanna I don't wanna <laughs> let the guy hang in. Um I'll keep blue Lilia incompetent just because I'm putting Ruga and Blue DM Alley. You can be fun to use. Or you're garbage. Uh you're garbage. You're garbage. You are competent. Brynhilder is unironically competent. I'll give Death Pier sub meta, I'm not gonna give him meta. Um, you can be fun to use, um, with Galfer. I, or you're competent actually with Galfer. Yeah, bl listen, King team is actually competent with Galfer. You are garbage. You are garbage. You are sub meta. So is you. Um, you're, you can be fun to use. You're garbage. You can be fun to use. With Assault Melee. You also, same thing. Uh, Red Zelda's I, I will give Competent just because of his commandment. Because you can cut Coffer, but that's. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him Competent. I feel like it's a better rating. You can be fine. I don't, I don't think she is a great option right now just because of Bon being the meta. So let me actually. I'm gonna lower Red Galfer. I'm gonna be a little more harsh on this meta tier, actually. I don't think Kusak is meta meta. So I'm gonna put him down here, um, and so is Ram. I think, if I'm being very honest, having Zeldris in the back is way better than Ram. Just in case one of your units dies, Zeldris is a little bit better than Ram is. So if I had to pick between, that would be good. Uh, this green DN, I guess, can be fun to use. I wouldn't give her more than that. Uh, red Lost Vein can be fun to use. Uh, Blue Lost Vein is competent. 
with, you know, alt rushing and stuff. He's competent. Uh, Keo, if you ask Keo this week, I'll give him meta. I'll give him sub meta though, because he is actually stupid good with Gopher. Um, much better than King, I feel like. So if I'm gonna give King com competent, I'll give Keo sub meta. Um, I'll give you meta. If I'm giving Assault Melee meta, I'm giving you meta. I'm actually gonna lower Goddess Liz. Because if you play PvP right now, you know. Goddess Liz is being taken out of people's teams. So I'm actually gonna <laughs> finally lower her. Um, I will also lower the one. I wouldn't consider him meta anymore. He is just not that guy. I would say any person here would be in a meta team right here at the top. So, but these people below wouldn't be in the optimal team of that person. Oh, why is Matron here? Um, Matron is better than Green Dian. So, I will give her a higher ranking. Uh, you are garbage. Um, I'm not done actually. <laughs> I have ranked so many characters, I'm still not done. Because there's just so many characters in this game. I will actually keep Green Asking over here. Uh, Red Arthur is garbage these days. Sag, but true. Uh, sub meta. I would say she isn't the most optimal for Bond, but she is still great with him, so I'll keep her there. Took a pause for uh, for my food just arrived, so um going back to going back to the, the, the rankings here. <laughs> garbage. Um just giving the garbage away. Looking for another garbage. I I guess why that's Canary's garbage. Um Man. I think we're done here with the garbages. I f think. Green DML is fun to use. I wouldn't call him competent. Um, oh, why are you here? Um, this is. Yeah, I'll, I'll call her competent. I think blue Eastern it could be fun to use. Um. Okay, actually, I would say Blue Gill is not nearly as good as Green Gill, so I'm going to put him a tier below him. Uh, and Blue Derriere is just not as good as Chandler, so I'm going to call him, going to call her competent. Even though Chandler is, like, all the way up here, Blue Derriere is that much worse, so <laughs> I'll call her that. And <laughs> Green Drill uh, is, is worse than Blue Drill, so I'm going to put him, put him there. I... We'll actually keep Ram here. And you might be like, oh, I don't ever see Ram. Rams are pretty good. You just you just don't see them because she's a collab character and collab characters are not as popular. I mean they're they're popular as in people want them, but they're not as used. Um I would say, okay, since I'm already here. Base Ludo with because the, the way I made it was you, this one represents you are going to out CC someone, right? Guaranteed. So he's sub meta. If you're not gonna out CC people with Ludo, he's garbage. Like, the, that's the only function that he has in the game. He's to out CC people. If he doesn't out CC people, he's garbage. So, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I could bump down Sauriel and, and, and Tarmio. I really could. Because they are not a make or break. I will. Because the goddess team is, is is not meta right now. It's sub meta. And do I bump one more down just to make it a nice even thing here? Uh, I think that's, that's fine how it is. So if you're going to be like, oh my god, you bumped down the one. Oh, what are you doing? It's just how it is. I would not say the one makes part of any meta team right now. Bond's team does not use the one. If you use the one on Bond's team, 
Sorry to tell you, he's not he's not the best on the bond team. Um and I would say the only other melee team is Galfers, which also doesn't use the one. If you're gonna use the one with Margaret and Ga Green Galfer, it's a it's a good team, but it's not meta. I would say that is a sub meta team. It can win against uh, other good teams, but it won't win against meta teams. So that's how it is. And now for final rankings of the new units, I think Red Slater is um, sub meta. I don't think that he is. I genuinely don't think he is the best for the bond team. I think the best bond team. Um, oh, let me actually put it up here. Would would either either use um bon twigo arthur with guillemore in the back or or um uh, bon arthur slater and twigo in the back or alternatively uh bon arthur twigo and the fourth could be any human that would actually help bon in case uh twigo dies um being, you know, you could use with Bon, just, just plain old, um, uh, the one. Mm, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm trying, I'm trying to help the one here, but it's just not it. It's either, either or the one or the other. So, because it's not very definitive, I don't want to put them both, uh, up there, but either or one or the other. I think the best one of the two, though, is the Grimoire option. Uh, right now, if you go on the P on the PvP rankings, like today as I'm recording, you will see the best team in the game is Bon, uh, Keo, Arthur, and Twigo. But that's not because of Keo uh, being the meta ultra powerful unit. It's because there's a rule right now that heavily benefits him. Um, so that's why. And Dian is just garbage. She's just garbage. So that's where we will end the list for now. I might have missed someone that should be garbage here. I can't. I think shit is not that confident, actually. I actually I, I put him down. I can't really put my finger on it though. So for now, it is what it is. Tomorrow we do the PVE tier list and i'm just scheming seeing if i if i catch one that maybe could be go could go up as well tomorrow we do the pvp and we'll see how that goes pve i'm sorry and we'll see how we'll see how that goes